Alrighty, I got these uh, these two sides pretty well sucked out. So let's turn it over. And give a little wiggle. Let's see if they'll come out. Mm, this one's a little tough. Don't put too much pressure on them though. Just kind of wiggle them and rock them and eventually they'll come out. There you go. Make sure there's no barrels stuck to them. Yeah, focus. Put my hand next to it. Maybe it'll focus better. There you go. And it doesn't look like there's any uh, barrels stuck to it. So that's a good one. There's the hole. Pretty dirty. Should clean up. Oh wow. This one just comes right off. Pretty sure there's no barrels stuck to that one or feed throughs. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me turn it sideways so the light's not shining right into it. Well, there they are. They're all out. All I have to do now is clean them up and reflow them. And then drop the new ones in. Alright, let me grab all the alcohol. See what they look like. It's my alcohol up here, a little alcohol dispenser. Clean these up good too. This is just an acid brush that I cut most of it off. Here's a full length acid brush, and here's a uh, cut one. I cut about two thirds of it off. It uh, makes the bristles a little stiffer and uh, makes the cleaning much, much easier. And then I use these things right here called uh, uh, kind of tech lights or something like that steel craft tech lights yeah by this company here horizon they work pretty good and get in there to dry the board off real good give it a good inspection now I'm gonna do this other side over here I don't think you need to see that. I mean, just it's just cleaning, so. Okay, you can see where I did my cleaning. Now there was something kind of interesting right over here. And uh, let me grab my scribe. You can see how this hole is fairly clean, but this one has a little bit of solder on it right here. And that's where it didn't completely uh, uh, desolder. And that's why you uh, check your, sorry about the focus there, that's why you check your pins before you pull it out uh, to make sure that it, it's clear. And a lot of times you'll see this, it'll be just touching the, uh, the lead, but it won't actually be connected. Here's another one where I hit it with the soldering iron, pulled it out, and you can see it left a little, uh, a little plug in there. So I'll have to go clean those out. So, and here's the board. You can see how how filthy this board is. Let me tilt it up this way. There we go. You can see how filthy the board is. And uh, this is definitely going to need some attention down in here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. That'll need some attention. It makes me wonder if that power switch is any good. I think uh, uh, my friend here, something toys or whatever it was. Uh he uh he said it was a good power switch so we'll see but uh here's some uh stuff i'll have to get down in there with a a pick and be very gent gentle with it and pick all that out otherwise i'll have to take those two uh, resistor arrays out don't really want to do that but i will if i need to here's some other parts of the board uh, always check your electrolytics make sure they're they're not leaking come on get over here focus there you go. Make sure it's not leaking. Looks like that one might be a little bit. I'll have to clean it up real good and check it. So, anyways, uh, there's the board. Now that it's uh, it's got the uh, uh, dip sockets removed. And point the lights away so they don't get in the way. And it's got a little bit more work to do. Well, actually, quite a bit more work to do. 
but uh, clean up and everything and then all this extra corrosion and material all over the board we've got to get it cleaned up this right here will probably clean it up with some uh, actually with a little bit of some toothbrush and something we'll clean it up maybe some 2000 grit paper and some water maybe a little bit of oil buff it all out real good and then uh, we could uh, we could paint it or whatever I don't I don't know it depends on what my uh, friend wants to do with it so anyways chit chat with you all later let me uh, get these cleaned up and get ready to put back in all right after I uh, cleaned off the pads putting some uh, fresh flux on here so I can reflow the pads and just kind of put a little bit on there what the uh, flux does is it's basically like an acid and it removes all the uh, oxidation and corrosion in there not all of it but it gets a good portion of it also it acts as a really good uh, heat conduit for the soldering iron so that it uh, melts quicker all right i got my soldering iron i got it nice and hot there's two schools of thought on that one school is uh thought is let me get this in here a little bit better is the hotter it is the quicker you get on and off uh, the other school of thought is is uh keep it cooler and stay on it longer. I prefer to get on and off so that the board doesn't warm up as much. Let's see if I can get in here a little bit better. There we go. I'm going to show you a view from inside the uh, microscope too. All right, here's a view from inside the scope. It just reflows real easy, like. And you do that to all of them. And you go around and you do it to the other side and then you clean everything off. And I actually stopped on this hole because I wanted to show you something here. Uh, this particular hole um these two are really nice and shiny next to it this one is kind of really caked up and nasty looking uh, this is where some flux uh, can really help let's see if i can drag it a little bit over here and really clean it up if you can't clean it up then go ahead and put some uh, fresh solder on it and then suck it back out and you'll probably have to do that with some of them occasionally so let me put some more flux on this and reflow it. I'll show you the difference. Okay, I have a little overkill on the flux, but I got quite a bit here. So I'm going to get my my little fine pitch tip and put it back on here and reflow this thing. You can actually see uh, the board heat up this this area right here in the rings, where it actually starts to turn white, where it's kind of, where the epoxy is kind of gassing out. So when you heat up the board, see it travels. So that's why a lot of people don't like a lot of heat, which is fine. But I like to get on the board and get off. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that little bit's not going to hurt nothing. So, All right, let me finish up the rest of it. I just wanted to show that to you guys. All right, here's one of those holes that really needs a lot of special attention. You can see that the uh, solder right here has corrosion in it, and it's right here next to a really big 
uh, fat run and what see how skinny this one is this one heats up really quick this one will not this uh, extra runs right here act like a huge heat sink and it makes it extremely hard for the solder to melt because uh, it just sucks up all the heat right off the soldering iron so what you do is you pack on a, a lot of extra flux here and then you turn your temperature up on your iron and that's what I typically do but you want to get on and off otherwise you'll damage the uh, epoxy here on the board let me refocus this thing here there you go otherwise you can uh, re damage your epoxy on the board and you don't want that so let me get this fluxed up and I'll see if I can't show you all right I got my flux out and that's a good amount right there let me grab my iron and I have this little uh, iron it's got like a little hook on the end basically you set it on there and you let the board heat up around it and the iron is actually kind of cool I might have to uh, raise the temperature a little bit on it because it's it's having a hard time melting there it goes all right now you can take what's what I like about these little hooks so you can take them, you can drop them down in a hole and heat up everything really good. See, see the uh, epoxy around here start to turn white? That lets you know it's getting warm. Alright, now I'll clean this off and I'll do this again with this hole just to make sure I got a good, a good clean hole when I go back to resolder it together. Now I want to show you something else here. Uh, this little area right down here, you can see one here and then one here. It's little black spots. Okay, what those are is that's actually uh, uh, corroded copper, and you need to get all that corrosion off there. Let's see if I can't zoom in here. There you go. That's corroded copper right in there. And you need to get that stuff off. And the way you do that is you can uh, scrape it off with an X-Acto blade, and then put some fresh flux on it uh, right here, and then reflow it, and it should take. Now, if the corrosion's bad enough, it'll actually go all the way through, and it'll. And when you resolder it, it might even eat the whole runoff. And then you'll have to go ahead and put a little pad right here. Uh, it's a little ring with a post on it, and then you drop an eyelet in it, and then you can cut it right here, and then over and clean this up and solder it, and then put the piece over it, and then you lay solder across this. And you want it at least uh, a pad distance or two away. Uh, the run at least a uh, one distance diameter away from it so that when you solder this it doesn't unsolder it out here the heat doesn't travel up the run and unsolder it. so but anyways uh, you can scrape this off with a blade and then reflow it with some flux and some fresh solder and that that generally will fix it uh, same thing for this one down here let's see if I can zoom in on this one too for you there you go I, don't, I can't walk it over. Maybe I can move the board over. There we go. That's a little better. Let's see if I can focus it better. Nope. It's that. Oh, there it goes. No, oh, that's as good as it's going to get. So, anyways, you got to clean those up so that when you put the chip in, especially since uh, since the the chip will cover up. Uh, this side from this side of the hole over and you wouldn't even see that So you got to clean all this crap up and get it get it done You can actually see the black there when I move the, uh, the flux out of the way Maybe I can uh, clean this up with some alcohol and show it to you Okay, there we go put some alcohol on it. that black those black dots there that is uh, that is actual corrosion Me. And that has to be done. Well got to go to a meeting Okay, what I did is I put a little bit of a, a flux on there and I also used a, a blade and I scraped these two back and you can see this one's not, it's still got the black on it. So that's what you do and you flux them up and reflow them. And I'll show that to you when I get it reflowed. I don't know if I can do it here uh, under this, this deep of magnification. Let me see. There we go. Let me grab the uh, soldering iron. May go off screen a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get this up in here. 
group. There you go, then you just use some of the solder that's already on it and just kind of reflow it up into it. Like that. There we go. That's what you gotta do. If there's any you miss, like it looks like up in this top corner here, I may have missed a little bit. Just use your uh, soldering iron and, and get that. There we go. It's kind of difficult to film and solder at the same time. Alright, there we go. I'll clean that up. Let me get the other ones done. Alright, I got all three soldered up. Now I'm going to go do all the rest. Make sure they're good. Uh, I actually over did overheat the board a little bit right here you can see that little white measle in one there uh, but it won't affect the circuit uh, function at all and that's because I was trying to I got on here too long trying to fix this up but it'll be just fine that's only the little tiny ones they're not big and now if I did the whole board delaminated then I'd have to uh, dig all this out and uh, put special board material and then set in an eyelet and then run in here but since I didn't uh, since they're so small, I'm not going to bother with that.